Hi, my name is Bailey Cacciatore, and I am here at the Deer Valley Petroglyph Preserve in the School of Human Evolution and Social Change at Arizona State University. I recently graduated from the school with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Anthropology. I am interested in studying past cultures and what their daily lives were like, especially how they adapted and lived in the environment. I now work here at the Preserve as a full-time employee and a member of the ASU team responsible for managing this site. Our job is overseeing the protection and preservation of over 1,500 rock art petroglyphs, which the public can view from our quarter-mile walking trail. We have a small museum with historic and educational exhibits to learn about the past cultural traditions that once inhabited this location. And we host a number of events throughout the year, including performances, festivals, and lectures. Today, I would like to talk to you about one of the methods used for processing food, specifically grinding mesquite beans and corn into flour. Many cultures today um, still use these type of tools. Um, and here at the Hedgepeth Hills at Deer Valley, the desert archaic Hohokam and Patayan cultures also use these tools. So what I'm gonna show you um, are two um, easy stone tools that are used for processing food. Here we have a mono, which is a large round stone. And the word mono means hand in Spanish. And here we have a matate. And matate, the word originates from Central America and it means a large flat grinding stone. Here in the Southwest, typically mesquite beans or corn were used to grind and process into a fine powder. So I'm gonna take some mesquite beans, which you see here, and I am just going to break them up into small pieces and place those pieces onto the matate. Then I'm going to take the mono or a large round stone and I'm just going to break up the mesquite bean pieces into even smaller pieces. Then afterwards, I'm going to take the same large round stone and I'm going to move it back and forth across the smaller pieces and start grinding it into a fine powder. And as I'm grinding the mesquite beans, you can see that a fine powder is being formed. Now, imagine how long it would take to grind enough mesquite beans into powder for a family of four. It would take quite some time, wouldn't it? Mesquite powder is something that can be bought today. It's available at various retailers like so. If you'd like to practice this method at home, please refer to the worksheet accompanying this video. The link is listed with the video. Thank you for watching, and we hope you consider visiting the School of Human Evolution and Social Change and the Deer Valley Petroglyph Preserve in the near future.